Hello class, so I'm done checking your manuscript um, and I put only the comments to the output of your leader. So I made this uh, video to discuss and explain the corrections or comments that I have or the errors that I have observed from your manuscript. So I prepared here 14 um, outputs or 14 manuscript that I provided a comments. So I will start with the group 1 until the group 14. Okay, so I will scroll down here and again I made a comments and corrections only to the obvious errors. Okay, so for this group have a comment here business and management because the highlighted one doesn't have word and okay so college of business and management so this is why it is important that you need to read 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 your manuscript okay next So here I re I highlighted the the word Nandi, okay? Because after the word Nandi there is a period, so you need to remove the period, okay? Except on the it al, and I also observe here there's a period after the word customers, so you need to erase that word, and then there is a additional space after the open parenthesis so you need to remove that next in the it al you need to add space after comma so we can see here after the period and comma there's no space next you mention conclusion but you still have one more paragraph after so you put here a phrase or a words in conclusion so if you if we put a term or word in conclusion so it must be the last paragraph of this section so what is this section it is a rational so you need to it's either remove this one or this would be your last paragraph because you put in conclusion here and then after this paragraph you have this additional paragraph okay so this is not a conclusion yet excuse me next error you need to add space I, I mean this is not an error it is a um, suggestions okay so there is no space after the it al so we need to put space after the period add space after period it al period space open parenthesis and then this is also a common comments or corrections again this is a common mistakes not just in this group but also the other group so if you have this one paragraph you need to put a citation if it is not coming from your own idea but if it is coming from your own idea uh, it's not necessary to put or to add citation um, in this part since um, I think this is not really coming from your own idea. It is coming from the other sources. You need to add citation. Okay. So I highlighted this one. First paragraph, add citation. Another paragraph, add citation. How about if the source, we have this the same source as the aforementioned or before this paragraph, we have this citation. For example, free and ban the rigid. So you need to put citation also in the last part or in the first part, okay? And ideally, it is not, you know, advisable to have lots of paragraphs with the same source, okay? It means that you are not um, reading more literatures or related studies. So it is advisable that every paragraph have the different source in case that they have this nice um ideas you can um 
put again the source of the idea. Okay, for example, free, free and van, etc. You need to put also here free van, etc. You can add in the last part of the paragraph. And here in the research methodology, so this is not in the part of the con, con I mean in the part of the format, but it's in the part of the content. Okay, again, majority of my comments are corrections is only focusing on the format only. So I did not have these corrections in the content yet. Okay, because if I will have this correction also in the content, so I think majority of you will get the zero points so in this case i have a comments with regards to the content just like for example this group used the word students demographic information so based on my comments in your research environment and respondents you have mentioned that your respondents will comprise tourists who have visited beach resorts in anda however in the highlighted one you mentioned students so which is which because in your research respondents, you have mentioned here that your respondents are tourists who have visited visited beach resorts in Anda and have contributed to the digital discourse through an online reviews. But in your research design, you have mentioned students' demographic. So that is a good question. What is really your or who is really your respondents? Is it students or a tourists? Or students at the same time tourists? So which among the three is really your research respondents? Okay, so there is something error on this part. Again, this is an example of uh, checking on the content of your paper. Again, majority of my comments are only focusing on the format only. Later on, I will give my comments on the content. If there's no problem, already no problem in the um, format of your manuscript. Next, separate research environment and research respondents. So we can see here there's a word research design. So there must be also research environment and another research respondents. And we also have research instrument. Because on this part, um, the environment and respondents were uh, combined together. So it is not um, appropriate. Okay, so we need to separate the research environment and the research respondents. I know that some manuscript that you have um, used as a guide, some of them are using environment and respondents. So in our case, we need to separate these two, research environment and research respondents, because we can have this more detailed information. Next, in your research procedure, you are using a past tense. Again, in this semester, we are only for the proposal hearing. So we are not yet conducted the study. So it must not be in a past tense. It should be in what? Future tense. That is why I write here, use future tense. Same as this one, future tense. And then my observation also in the transmitter letter, you need to add space in between the very truly yours and the name of the group leader. Because one question here, where is the person or where is the person going to sign on this part? Since there's no space um, before the name of the person. Okay, so you need to add space for the signature. Also, there's no space after the comma, so you need to add that one. Also, in this part, there is no comma after the last name. So this is why, again, it's important that you need to read your manuscript. Review, review, review. So I think I'm already done with the group one. Now I'll proceed to the group two. I have a comments here. Page number were not aligned. So you can observe here the page number have this curve lines okay so you need to uh, change this one that there must be an alignment of the pages i think the reason for this is you, uh, you only um, click the tab or have this indent or space 
So one strategy for here is you need to have a table. I think you have a table in this part. But you need to include also the page number in the table so that there will, there will be an alignment of your page number. Also, my comments here in the rational, you can see here that there is a very long paragraph. So ideally, the paragraph has a maximum of five sentences only. So for example, here we will check this is a first paragraph. I mean, first sentence. And then second sentence. Then third sentence. And then fourth. And then fifth. Okay. So this is ideally one paragraph only. So there must be a maximum of five sentences in one paragraph. So in the start of the notion of sustainable tourism details, you need to uh, add more paragraph on this part. Okay. So uh, my observation on this, there is a long ideas in this in in a one paragraph. So you need to separate this one. And here you need to put comma after the period. Okay. Again, if it is um, put in the last part of the sentence, you need to put period after the al and there is a comma. But if it is located in the first part, no need to put comma. And we can also observe that there is no period after the closing parenthesis. Next, we need to remove the this word number and uh, not the word a uh, number seventeen. Because I think this is uh, a format from a research article and you just copy and paste. So you need to remove this one. They have this word, I mean number 17 as an indicator of the sources. The number 17 in the reference list of this particular research article. So we need to remove this. Also same comments, there's no comma after the period. So you need to put comma after the period okay same comments add period up uh, i mean add come after the period okay so you can observe there's a lot of errors in this part you need to put comma there's no comma in this part ding and cow or show there's a comma after the last name same comments Again, we need to use future tense because we are still in the process of our research paper. You can also observe there's no space. We can see here there's no space after the number. So we need to put space. There's no indent also here. We need to add indent. Okay, so in this error, they are using um past tense so my comments here we need to use a single space so in this um in this research paper they are using double space so we need to use single space and also here this is not justified format justified format means that there's an alignment on the left and also in the right side Okay, same comments, they are using past tense instead of future tense. So here also this is uh, very important as well. If we put doctor in the first part of the name, we need to remove EDD. Because this is a doctor and this is also a doctor. So what will happen? It will become doctor, doctor. So this is a redundant. And also again, we need to remove the period. In EDD, there's no period. Before, we are using a period, but now um, they decided to remove the period. Same with the, this one, PhD. No more period in the PH and also in the D part. So this is correct. Some also using a period. Some also are not using a period. So there's no problem about that. But according to the Agreed uh, by so unified format, we need to remove that period.
So I highlighted this one because they are using a double space. So for the questionnaire, we may use the single space. And also the purpose for this is to save space. Also, I observed there is no appreciation message here. For example, just like, for example, thank you for spending your time to answer our questionnaire, something like that. So you need to put appreciation message in the last part of the questionnaire. Same also here. Um, we need to use the single space so that it will be fit in one page only. So in this part, first page of the researcher's bio data, and you have this second page. So if possible, you need to fuse all the information so that it will be fit in one page only. And then if this is the first part of the researcher's bio data, we need to put researcher's bio data at the center top. Okay. And then on the second researcher's bio data, it is not necessary to put here because we also we already have researchers bio data at the top. So we need to remove this researchers bio data also here. Okay, so we are done with the group one and group two. Now let's proceed to the group three. Same comments, there's no alignment on the page number. Okay, just like here, page 27, page 20, or tw between 23, I mean, 23 is not aligned with 20 and 26, also the um, other numbers. Okay, so you need to review that it must be aligned. So in the part of the st statistical treatment, we need to mention the specific statistical treatment that we are going to use. Okay, so for example, frequency, percentage, weighted mean. So in this part, I have not um, read any specific statistical treatment. So we need to put on this part. So I've observed there's no space after the comma. Okay, 28 comma space 2024. And then here campus directo. No R. Again, again, we need to read, read, read our manuscript. Also, in the last part of Mamula, so we need to put comma MBA dash HRM. Okay. Just like this one. Okay. Elani Olaso, comma, MBE, dash, HRM. And then we need to remove the colored background. Okay? Because there is a color in the background of this line and uh, inside the word researcher. Also, again, same comments. We need to remove the word researchers biodata because we already have researchers biodata in the first part of the researchers biodata. Again, you can observe here that there is a colored background. Okay. So I think it is a color gray. So we need to remove this one. So we're done with the group three. So let's proceed to group four. So in the group four, I suggest that you need to add more related literature and related studies. Okay. I have put here because okay, there's a lacking of related literature and related studies. You only have think uh, few literature, related literature, and few related studies. Okay, so in this part also, in this paragraph, I did not read any citation. 
or you need to cite the source of this idea. Okay. Again, every paragraph you need to add the source of that idea. Also, the word theories here and legal basis, you need to capitalize all the letter and in bold. And for the SOP or statement of the problem, you need to change this one into a double space only. So I observed that I think there this is a three spaces. Okay. Same same this one. This is a double space. But I observe here starting from SOP number one until the last, it is a three spaces. So this is wrong. Also here in the statistical treatment, there is a three spaces. So we need to change this one into the into a do two or double space. Two spaces or double space. And here we need to change this logo since this is a CITAS logo. So we need to use the CBAIM logo. Same comments, we need to add appreciation message in the last part of the questionnaire. Again, we need to remove the researcher's biodata in the second third. Okay, so we are done with the, I think this is group 3 or group 4. Now let's proceed to the other group. As you can see here, there is a problem with regards to the margin of this study. Okay. And also here, there's a lacking word and business and management business and management there's an error here so it must be double space only also here the word statement of the problem it should not be capitalized all the letter this one, this is not justify, so change into a justify format. So there must be alignment on the right side as well. Same here, justify format. Okay, so this is also not justified format. The indent also here is different from other indent. Same this one. You have this and this line. But on this part, there is, I think, double indention this part. So we need to remove the um, extra indent. The words here, since this is a title, we need to bold it. Same also here. Same comments, we need to change this one into a justified format. Also this one, this is not justified format. And also, after the name of Mamlizel C. Makas, we need to put MBA HRM. Okay? And we need to re remove the word SGD. It means, SGD means it is already signed. Since this is all only or a proposal, so we need to remove SGD. We will put SGD after we conducted the study. Also, the CITAS, this is the former name of our college so we need to change also in this part we need to change the word gender into sex and the background also here we need to change the color um, i think it is orange or yellow we need to change it into a white background or we need to remove the background okay next so let's proceed to group six so this are my comments and suggestions from group 1 to group 5. Now let's proceed to the group 6. Same comments, it should have alignment on the page number. 
and then in the first part of the chapter one there must no page number so we need to remove the one we will start the page number in the page number two same comments we need to add citation in a paragraph that is not coming from your own idea so if the word literature background is only in the uh, previous part we need to move this in the next page and you need to or not to capitalize each letter this one we need to observe the proper spacing it must be double space only you need to remove the extra spaces also here this one same comments it should have this specific statistical treatment that you're going to use in your study also we need to remove the SGD because this is not yet signed by the signatories instead of putting EDD in the heading we need to put doctor or DR period in the first part of the name of this signatory and we need to remove the EDD In this part, we need to remove ranges because this ranges is only a guide for the researcher. So this is not a guide for the um, respondents. So we need to remove ranges. Okay, We will put ranges only on the upper part of our study. So we need to also remove the extra pages here in page 35. So there is a blank page. We need to remove this one. So we're done with the group 6. Now let's proceed to the group 7. So we need to review the line. It must be 14 to 15 spaces. Okay. Or 15 small lines. So we need to review that there must be, uh, have this proper citation. Al period comma. And this one, this is a wrong citation. This format is applicable in the last part of the sentence. Same comments, this is a long paragraph. So we need to separate this one. There are only a maximum of five sentences per group. I mean per paragraph. Add citation here because there's no citation in this paragraph. In this part, there is no, I have not seen any related literature and any related studies. I observe only the legal basis and the theories. No related literature and related studies. We need to add. So there is a word and if this is the second to the last, um, what do you call this one? An indicator, okay? Physical environment service quality and amenities and facilities okay same with this one occupation and type of guests um after i forget to make a comment also here after the occupation that's the time that you put the um, semicolon here after the semicolon there is a word and and no semicolon in the last part of the word and only in the last part of the occupation and here we need to remove the extra spaces between these two paragraphs and please review the length of the indent you can see here this is the length of the indent but have the separate indent length same with this one okay so you need to have this um equal length of the indentation so you need to follow this one okay so as i scroll down it is not aligned with the indent in the part of the significance of the study so you need to adjust this one also this one and then for the reference list you need to use the ref, uh, capitalize each letter and bold 
And again, this is totally wrong references. This is only a URL or a website. Okay, so this is extremely um, not aligned in our format. So we already discussed the proper format, name of the author, title of the article, uh, where is the article um, published, year of publication or volume number, and others. Okay, so this is wrong. Please review the online lecture in our previous discussion. Then we, do, you need, we need to remove this logo. This is a old logo of Citas. So we are now CBM. And we need to remove extra blank pages. We need to observe also the margin. Okay, This is not the right margin. So if this is the one inch length in the margin at the right side, so we need to follow that. Okay, so as you can observe, it does not follow the margin. Okay, so same this one. This line should be the last part of your questionnaire. Since this is a one inch line, okay? You can observe here, this is a one inch line. And then on this part, so this is wrong. Okay, so it exceed the length for the one inch margin. So we need to remove extra blank pages here. These two pages, page 33 and page 32. Now let's proceed to the other group. I forget what is this group number. So we need to move the month and day, uh, year at the most bottom part of the title, uh, cover page. Okay. So we need to uh, move this one to this part. Also, we need to put middle initial in your um, first name and last name. Except if you don't have a middle initial or middle name. So we need to remove the comma. That is a wrong format. Remove comma. This sentence is too long as I have discussed. It should have a maximum of five sentences per paragraph. And we need to add citation if this is not coming from our own idea. And this one, this is an obvious and AI generated ideas. Okay. So please change this one. Also this one. It is an obvious that it is a AI generated um, ideas. So we need to remove comma. This is also a wrong format. Wrong format. So please review my online discussion with regards to formatting. And after the word sanitation, there is a word end. And after the food prepar preparation, there must have a comma. So this is not a chapter, this is a section. So in this part, since this is part of the research instrument or a part of the methodology, we need to add ranges, okay? Ranges in between rating scale and description. And we need to remove the formula. This is not a Viso Unified format remove formula and you need to capitalize its letter for this one and for the name of our campus director it is not Los Viminda it's Los Minda and we need to remove the doctor here instead we will put comma and ATD also in the name of Sir Darwin you need to put MBA HRM the last part of his name. Same here, EDD, not doctor. Okay. 
And here we need to use the institutional email, not our personal email. Okay, so we're done. Next, let's proceed to the other group. I think it is uh, group 9. So for this, this is a scientific name. So we need to use italic. Okay, the slanting format of the letters. Same here. So we need to align the page number. So we need to review. There must be a space after the society. And since it is not um, only one researcher, so you have a group member, so it must be researchers. Add citation on the paragraph that is not coming from your own idea. And here we need to put the title, Churis, and in the right side, Legal Basis. Also here we need to remove the name because we cannot able to um, compute the name. Also after the sex, we need to put word and. And after the word taste, we need to put also word and. This part, there's no indention, so we need to add. This part, there is a... Um, it must have the same comments with the previous group. We need to separate the research environment and research respondents. Also, uh, okay, on this part, you can see here this the table. We can put this in the uh, statistical treatment. We can also put this one in the researchers. A research instrument it depends on your discussion okay so ideally it should be put in the research instrument again we can also put this one in the statistical treatment but it depends on your discussion so I comment here transport the research instrument because you don't have a discussion or you only have a small discussion the researcher will use four point you don't need scale etc And here we need to use the double space. Okay, so this format is only applicable for the researchers. I mean, reference list. Also here, I am not your thesis advisor. I'm your thesis instructor. So you need to put here your thesis advisor. And here we need to capitalize its letter. Okay, same with the name here capitalize its letter also you need to add here a precision message for the efforts of your respondents next same comment it is a scientific name so it need, needs to be italicized and there's a lacking word and business and management same comments here and then you need to add again middle initial of the authors or researchers and on this part you need to observe the um the format as well as the margin here okay so you didn't follow the 1.5 inches in the left side and one at the top right and bottom part also, your page number, it is not an aerial, so you need to change this one, okay? All the pages, okay, you need to change into an aerial font style. Also, here the word rational, only the letter R must be capital, capitalized. And it must be a justified format. So, this is missing part here. Add citations to the paragraph that is not coming from your own idea. And again, your rationale is only have one page. It must be three pages. Same format and the liter literature background. Only the letter L and letter B must be capitalized. And for the Republic Act, only the letter R and A and letter N should be capitalized. 
there's no period after the word lamina. I think there's a word here, but it is deleted. So you need to find the source here. Again, this is also too long paragraph and there's no citation. So you need to add. Remove comma, wrong format. So you need to add question mark after the packaging also. Same with this one, texture comma. So in the packaging, you need to also add, um, I mean question mark. You need to add question mark. And I also observe the end then of your subproblem number 2. 2.1 until 2.4 have the different alignment with the 1.1. 1.3 and 3.1 to 3.4. So you need to move this one here, okay? So that you have an alignment of the indicators. Also here, you need to change into a justify format. There's no straight line here. Also this one, justify format. Okay, so since you put this one in the research instrument, you need to put also not just ranges, but also the scale, the 4, 3, 2, 1. The word definition of terms, it must be at the center. And the word reference list must be in a bold form. Also, the format here of your references is not in the hanging indention. So you need to change one into a hanging indention. Also here, PhD, only the letter P and D must be in the capital capitalized letter. The H should be in the lower case. Also, Linda and Ramasola, we need to put PhD after his last name, after her last name. Also, we need to put ranges, I, I mean, scaling also here, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you can remove these ranges, okay? And also, observe the margin of your questionnaire okay so it is an obvious that it did not follow the margin here so you need to remove researchers biodata researchers biodata only in the first researchers biodata okay so we are now in 11th group same comments you need to italicize the scientific name and there's a word and between business and management. There's the word juries here and legal basis. So you need to add. And we need to adjust the table. Okay. So it's it exceed the uh, right side of the paper. So must be in the on this line one inch in the right side margin okay so only in this part you have a line in this part of your table so you need to adjust the table so you need to remove the ranges only the scale because this is in the specific part of the questionnaire it will put this in the research instrument or research uh, statistical treatment in the methodology part so we need to put ranges but on the specific questionnaire or research instrument we need to remove this one okay so th because this is not necessary for the respondents as a guide remove the word curriculum vitae here also here and we need to remove extra pages so we're now in group 11 so we are we have these three remaining groups so we need to move the month and year in the bottom part and we need to adjust also the uh, prices so we need to spread it equally so the date must be in the bottom part there's a problem also in the alignment so it must be aligned all the page numbers need to add more rational because you only have two pages here so it must be three pages 
need to remove also extra spaces in between. And we need to adjust the margin here. Okay, it's a problem on the margin part. So there are some comments that are similar with the other group. So you need to take note on this. So we need we should not capitalize each letter on this part. So we need to edit this one. I think there's an error on the part of the comments. It's not aligned with the comments here. Okay, so my comments also here, change your researcher's bio data in the same format. So you can observe here this one, you have different format. Again, use the institutional email. Different format. In the, the other um, researcher's bio data, they also have different format. Also this one. Okay, so you need to have the same format of your researcher's bio data. And we need to remove this word curriculum vitae. Okay, so we're now done with the group 12. So we are now in group 13, last two. Add citation on the paragraph that is not coming from your own idea. Same comments with other group. Again, second to the last, we need to add the word and okay so it must be assigned department and also here the word workload we need to add word and and knowledge and And again, I'm not your advisor, so you need to put your thesis advisor here. Name of your thesis advisor. Again, we need to remove this background. There's a gray color background. Remove that one. The word researchers by data as well. Only in the first researchers by data that we can read this term or phrase. Now we are in the last group. Group 14, need to add the word and in between business and management. And do not capitalize each letter here. Okay, only the first letter or the first name and last name. And the word chapter, only the letter C must be capitalized. And there must be a question mark after the word mismatch. And after the word co-worker, there must be a question mark as well. Also here, you have ranges. And that is good. But you need to add also a scale. 4, 3, 2, 1. And also here, we need to capitalize the letter M in the word mismatch. Mismatch mismatch and this meets mismatch we need to capitalize the letter m also in this part there is a long indent so you need to adjust this one to the left side move this to the left side and word phd and edd you need to remove the period okay that is the format that we follow today also the word and uh, the name mia more gukor you need to add comma and mbahrm and remove the misses also this one you need to put 4 3 to 1 the scale and you can remove the ranges part okay because this is already discussed in the methodology in this one this is not one two three but instead uh we'll start from highest to lowest so it must be 4 3 to 1 Okay, so we're done. So I hope that you have learned something and you take note on the errors or comments that I have said 
in this online discussion lecture and explanation and i suggest that you are not only watching or taking note on the on your own manuscript but also the manuscript of other group members or groups okay so that you also have an idea okay so we are done with the discussion and i hope that in the next submission of your manuscript there will be